we know that animal models of uh, Alzheimer's disease and epilepsy, they experience seizures, and that is uh, really important because it suggests that uh, epilepsy and Alzheimer's disease, there is a large overlap. And um, uh, so we recorded from those mice, uh, from their brains using electrodes. And what we found was that uh, they had an abnormal uh, EEG pattern and abnormal uh, electrical activity, uh, which is called high frequency oscillations. So high frequency oscillations are well known in epilepsy because they are a promising epilepsy biomarker. But the big question is uh, whether we can record HFOs in another brain disease order that there is a large overlap with epilepsy, but epilepsy is not yet diagnosed in those animals. So uh, we took advantage of uh, the animal models, several different uh, mouse lines that they recapitulate different aspects of the disease. We recorded the EEG and what we found was that when the animals were sleeping, uh, we saw high frequency oscillations in their EEG and specifically in the hippocampus. And that was very striking because uh, those animals were very young. They didn't uh, have uh, robust neuropathology yet. So we thought that this is a signature in, in their brains that may be an early biomarker for uh, Alzheimer's. And of course, the implications for epilepsy are very important because uh, HFOs in Alzheimer's may perhaps predict which animals may uh, develop epilepsy and have some implications for uh, treatment, especially uh, cognitive deficits. That is a major uh, Alzheimer's disease related symptom. So it was very striking to us because uh, our first thought was we, we really need to compare how they look like. Are they different? Could we say that this is an HFO from an animal with epilepsy versus an animal that uh, has, you know, mutations for Alzheimer's disease? And actually, we couldn't find like a difference when we were looking at them. So we didn't do extensive analysis, but uh, the first uh, things that we looked at is whether the duration and frequency are different and they weren't different. So the things that actually uh, define HFOs were very similar in both Alzheimer's disease and epilepsy, and we couldn't tell which one uh, is which, which strongly suggests that there is a very large overlap between what we see in uh, animal models of epilepsy and uh, Alzheimer's disease uh, models.